Hello guys, what is up? Uh, I'm actually redoing this, so, because this is the live video, because the thing didn't work, uh, so, I'm going to hope that I can keep up. So, you can see the crafting bench right behind there. I like this design a lot, by the way. Uh, I'm trying to remember what to say. Uh, you can see the crafting bench. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, see, it's right there. So, I'm going to show you how to do it, compared to the last one. I don't know what I'm thinking right now, but here it goes. What you got to do, you got to place two up, and then put a redstone, and then a block, and then a piston, like I did last time. But the trick is, while I go get the pressure plate, you got to put it one over. So just... Imagine what I'm saying is right next to it. What you gotta do, you gotta put a sandstone and then a redstone on top and then make three out, just like last time. You gotta put a redstone on the two rights and then the left. And then you gotta have a repeater to make the pulse go through. Okay? Because if it goes through like that, as you can see, it will not work. You gotta put it to two. And then, and then you do the same thing as we did last time. You gotta have the glowstone, and then, cause what it does, it uh, it's like an offset. It makes one go on, then the other go on. Then what it does differently is that it makes one go off, and then the the one that started last goes off first, I think. But it's the other way around. I screw up here. That doesn't work. Uh, it's basically just like last time. Uh, you gotta put the two repeaters, and then what you don't do is you don't use the redstone. What you gotta do is, as I'm screwing up here, uh, wait a second, wait before it. Um, you gotta make two high steps on the left one if you're not facing the pressure plate. So you do the two high steps, as I will do, sooner or later, sooner or later, there, there's the two high steps. Then you got to put redstone on the two high steps, and then you got to stretch it out to match that, what I'm showing you guys. Then you got to put redstone on top, which I will do, there you go. Then you got to put a piston, here's where I screwed up again. The piston goes on top of the one I just placed. Okay? And then you gotta make a high step on the right one, and then put a torch on the right so side of the block. Then what you gotta do, you gotta make a step up from the repeater, and then, then stick out the piston, and put a piston on it. What that does, that puts the block up first. And then, see, here's where I realized what I screwed up on. You gotta put it there. And then, you put the crafting bench behind it. Now that works, but I like to keep it a little bit more tight. So, that's what she said. Uh, I think. Probably not. You, gotta, you actually gotta move it over one, as I will hopefully do right now. There you go. You gotta move it over. And then it's right there. Then you just bada bing, bada boom, that. You know, it's just just like that. So it hides the workbench and then you put it push the pressure plate down and then I mean you could use a button on the wall if you just extended it out a bit. Um I just goof around here for a bit. So that's it. Uh so that is it. That is the horizontal pressure plate. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Turn and convert out. Peace.